everyone welcome to questions on synthetic roots first question we have here is a two-step synthesis and we are asked what the intermediate could be now this is where you're really gonna have to be quite skilled up on your two-step synthesis and knowing how to go from A to B and then to C For this particular question here the answer is C now reason being is because the final product needs a ketone in the middle as well as having the carboxylic acids there so it's a full oxidation of all three alcohols so you'd hydrate that alkene first to get the secondary alcohol and then go on from there and then we have our last question here again we've got two-step synthesis we need to suggest a structure for compound H with reagents and then we need the reagents for going from compound H to alanine. Now, how we're going to get to compound H? Well, what can we do with the lactic acid? So we're leaving that the COOH alone, and we know pretty much where that OH group is. And that's not going to be changing somewhat, isn't it? Now, what would be probably the best thing to do? We're probably to swap out that OH group with a halogen. Because then I know, because that one thing I do know about my synthetic roots is that it's quite easy to go from a halogen to then uh, NH3. I can react it with ammonia. So you have to sort of be thinking a little bit ahead, thinking, okay, well, what's reasonable to go from H to alanine? We've got to try and work away that a little bit. So what I'll do first is I'll react lactic acid with either sodium or potassium bromide, for example. So I'll go down that route. And I'd have some concentrated sulfuric acid. So I'd be nucleophilic substitution reaction, and I'd have something that looks like that there. Now you could go along a, a different route if you wanted to, but I'd go with bromine there. Uh, generally, nine times out of ten, that's what I'd do. Then, if I'm going from compound H to alanine, well, I know I need another substitution reaction in which I'm going to react it with a mixture of ammonia in ethanol, and that'll be that there. Okay, so quite tricky synthetic roots and you definitely need to know what your conditions and reagents are and how you go from A to B. There's a lot of different routes you need to know about so you just need to make sure you get some practice with that to make sure you're as confident as possible as you can be. Okay and that will do us for today on questions on synthetic roots. See you next time.